because he was the one that finally stopped them from arguing. The Black Cat Bar. So we found the... What the fuck? We saw a black cat. We found the black cat postcard. Oh, well, there's a dude in here. Hi there. How you doing? Excuse me, but we're uh, looking for our bus driver. What? Have you seen him? <laughs> yeah, that's funny. What is? What's up with the fog outside? It's pretty weird. Yeah, it sure is a thick one tonight. So thick it's stopping us from leaving. <laughs> weird fog. Yeah, yeah, I know that feeling. You mean you're trapped uh, Sorry too? for busting in like this. Uh, bus we were on crashed a little way back up the road there. We're still a little shaken up. We're still a lot shaken up. You certainly look shook up. I'm Vince. I need a mirror. Maybe there's one here not covered in 20 years of... Sounds like you could use a drink. Black Cat Bar, 11.38 p.m. You need to keep a clear head. It's right there if you change your mind. John's gonna drink it. Resolute, he's not gonna drink it. Not for me. Why are you even here? Little Hope sure isn't the town it used to be. What happened here? Yeah, curious. What happened here? The place seems completely deserted. Little Hope feels a little like a ghost town. And that fog? Life moves on, you know. But we don't all go with it. Why are you still here? Why are you still here? Yeah, if the place is as dead as you say, what are you still doing here? I come and go. You know how it is. Anyway, I can't help you. What is this guy's problem? There's definitely something off about him. <laughs> <laughs> he's right there. Yeah, he's harmless. Just had one too many. Like, do you think they can't he he around. can't hear you? There must be something here that can help us. They're playing darts there. Let's see what you can dig up. <clears throat> Am I intruding here? Not at all. I was about to take a look around anyway. Don't ask. Yeah, we bus crashed. We're trapped in a hellscape. Let's do some darts. Why not? At least I'm looking for a way out. What are you? Just a quick throw, and then we'll figure out how we're getting out of here. Is this to teach Try me how to double, aim? Or... Not my first time, Daniel. Shooting for double twenty. Use R. And yeah, this is teaching me how to sh throw. Okay. So or you shoot. Can play a little. Still got it. Now for triple twenty. Well, almost an Olympic shot after the night we've had. They don't play darts in the Olympics. Don't they? <laughs> that is one hell of a shot. <laughs> you did better than Taylor. Let's get back to why we came in here. Yeah, that was teaching me how to shoot a gun. Okay, there's a payphone. Okay, traits updated. Taylor was mad at Angela. Daniel disagreed. Daniel complained about Taylor's attitude toward their relationship. Daniel promised Taylor they would find a way out of Little Hope together. Daniel said Taylor said Daniel is not her boyfriend, Angela. Daniel exposed Angela as a hypocrite for attacking Taylor. Okay. Okay, so it shows his stuff going on here. Can I see the back of his head? No. Dismissive, irritable, resolute, curious, and I can see rational and overbearing. Okay. Talk to Vince, search the bar. That's the current objective. Talk to Vince, search the bar. Everyone's having a break. What do we got here? Where'd it go? Oh, right here. An old newspaper. Oh! 
What did I find? A secret hmm. found. Newspaper I town closes. What happened here? All the factories closed down. October 12, 1979. Meeting votes for disincorporation. New round of foreclosure spells end for town. At Little Hope Town Hall on Monday, the last residents of the town met with emergency manager Kathy Flint to vote for disincorporation. Since the closure of the Ravenden Textiles Factory, a mass exodus has left the town with few inhabitants and empty coffers. Flint was appointed as emergency manager to administer public services to the remaining residents, but the last round of bank foreclosures means the last of the townsfolk are planning to pack up and move on, which will leave Little Hope virtually deserted. With no tax revenue coming in, we're faced with no option but to disincorporate, said Flint. It's so sad, these people have seen their town disappear around them. Attempts to dot dot dot. So what is the deal with a secret? Oh, it's way the fuck over here. Interesting. Okay. What's this one? This is a list of numbers. Oh, a secret this found. This is some great history. The occult flyer. Are your children interested in astrology, spirits, or ghosts? Reverend Carson will advise parents on signs to follow, to watch for, and how these things are left-hand path to delinquency and Satanism. Little Hope Town Hall, Tuesday 6, 16, 1970. That's been sitting there for like 50 years. <laughs> it's crazy. What do we got over here? Well, that's to exit. We don't want to exit yet. June 6th, 1917. I can't believe Another that. secret. These guys could be relatives. Yeah. Did you see that? On the right there? They're... They're in the picture. The two guys. Not, uh... Not the guy I'm controlling, but Andrew and... What's the other guy's name? Andrew and Daniel. No, not Daniel. Yeah, Daniel. That's crazy. So something is definitely going on in Little Hope. Looked at that. We looked at that. Uh, hello, I'm stuck. I can talk to Vince. Let's go in the back here. Oh, there's a payphone. Not gonna work, of course. I don't hear a dial tone. Fuck. And where did the woman go? She wanted to find a mirror. Alright, let's talk to Vince here. Can I? How do I talk to him? Oh, there we go. I'm too close to talk to him, I guess. There we go. Beard. Got anything else for us on Little Hope? Uh, Boo's gone in my head. Are you okay? You okay? I'm sure it's just one too many. We both had better days. Some free advice. Lay off the drink. Take it easy, will ya? Sure thing. <laughs> Gotta keep a clear head, right? Okay. Search the bar. Continue towards town. I'm compassionate, apparently. So what am I missing in the bar? It says to search the bar. Wait, does it say search the bar? Yeah, it does. Search the bar. So what am I missing that I didn't search in the bar? I looked at the phone. Can I get behind the bar? I'm having trouble controlling this. Talk to anybody else? Oh, I'm walking around like a clown. That's the occult sign. I looked at that. I looked at the picture. Nothing over there. Well, let me see if I can talk to these people chilling over here. Oh, she's sitting here. Nothing? Nothing to say? Well, maybe I'll try the phone again. No 
good. Okay, well, I don't know what else I can look at in here. Talk to Vince. This is time to leave the bar. Hey, this way. Let's get out of here and... Oh, is that the you sound of the that? bells? I definitely heard something. Did you hear that as well? Come on. Whatever it was came from outside. You really think it's smart to go back outside? Well, there's nothing for us here. We need to move on. Best of luck. Hope you find what you're looking for. So far, it's uh, spooky. The intro is better than the first movie. First movie, first game. But has only been a couple, like, frights and nothing too major so far. It's coming from the town. Did the old fucker just lock us out? He was weird, that old guy. Sure was something off about him. Why come to Creepy Central just to get a top up? What does that mean? Andrew Main Road, 11.49 p.m., May 27th. All right. Head. Well, hope feels like our only option. I'm not so sure about that. Where up? Hey, he's still in there. He's still inside the uh, hotel or the bar just drinking. So, yeah, so far it's like, what is happening? I don't know. But the intro was brutal. Like, the way, like, the people were burnt alive and stuff. It was crazy. I have a bad feeling about this. We'll figure it out. The way this fog just appears, it's not natural. The other thing too was like we tried to go back to the bus, but whenever we would make an effort to keep up. Whenever we would walk to the bus, it ended up we would not we would end up walking away from the bus every time. It was crazy. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> that scared me. <laughs> that was the little girl that was on the road that made the bus crash. Hey, can you come over here? What's wrong? I just saw someone in the woods. I can't see anyone. I definitely saw I someone. I definitely saw someone. 100%. Sorry, I don't buy it. Man, no she's... Would be out here at this ungodly hour. She's a bit of a bitch. Okay. We really should catch up with the others. You two. We need to stick close. What the fuck? What is that? Okay, very good. We're freaked. Who's there? Whoever you are, this isn't funny at all. John, where are you? Daniel, Taylor? Come on, John, where are you? This isn't funny. That was fucked up. <gasps> Traits updated. Oh, and the other thing is that um, Angela and Daniel seem to be like dating. No, no. Taylor and uh, Taylor and Daniel seem to be like dating. Yeah, that was uh, a little spooky. All right, let's continue. Stay close to Angela. Find the others. Let's go, Angela. The other thing I want to replay the Man of Me Dan. Hey, 
Hey, wait for us. What's with this what circle that? of stones? I can hear them chanting ring around the rosy. Hey. Come and check this out. What on earth is that? Not a clue. Look at this disturbing doll. Ooh. A poppet. It's a little doll. Yeah, that's disturbing. Oh, there she is. Why? Why? What is your name, sir? Uh, I'm Andrew. I'm Andrew. Andrew? And your name, lady? Who the hell are you? Why are you dressed like that? I am called Mary. I fashioned her with my own hand. She looks just like the one beside you. Would you kindly come play with me? What the fuck? Come play. Come play with what me. What witch's trickery is this now, Mary? I have done nothing. Hold your tongue. I say you truly are, Mary. Reverend Carver's affection for you will be shaken loose when he learns of your infidelity with the devil. So, Come back here. there's something to do with witches in this game. By the fire. Why do I, I don't see any fire. I saw them too. Are you okay? You didn't see that? How can you not have seen that? I couldn't see anything through this impossible, impenetrable fog. Well, go ahead. Tell them what we saw. A little girl appeared out of the fog, and then just like that, she was gone again. What is going on? Maybe the fog has got you confused. <laughs> Maybe We're not. All stressed out. Stressed my ass. I saw a girl dancing right here, clear as day. Said her name was Mary. She made this Looked doll. Exactly like the girl in my dream, but she talked in this really weird accent. Was that even American? I'm not sure. I couldn't place her accent either. What have we gotten? It was like 1600s accent. This kid, oh. Mary, did she want to hurt you? I don't think so. No. I don't think she meant to hurt me. Now what? Seems our only option is the road into town. You're kidding me. Got a better idea? Come on, Taylor. Not, not. Get with the program. Um. He has a bruise on his arm where she grabbed him. So there's definitely something to do with the witches because there was a book I found earlier that said something about the Salem witch trials or something like that. Crazy. Well, that escalated rather quickly. Everything that one does or doesn't do in one's life will catch up with one eventually. Don't you think? Don't look at me. I can't help you. Remember? We sometimes congratulate ourselves on waking from a troubled dream. It may be so the moment after death. On my travels over many years, I've witnessed many things, seen and heard many beliefs, and there's usually some element of truth in each of them. These unfortunate folk seem to be dealing with forces as yet unexplained. I mean, sinister movements in the forest, the spirits from the past, the little girl who may be in trouble. Or maybe she simply is trouble. Oh, maybe she is trouble. Anyway, where are we? 
Angela isn't getting much tittle-tattle out of Taylor. <laughs> no kiss and tell. What about John? The figure of authority, perhaps? Or perhaps he represents something else. And then there's Andrew. Somewhat confused, I think. A bump to the head can do that. Let me reassure you. You help make some decisions that will be valued later on. And some that may turn out to be regrettable. That fellow in the bar, he was less than helpful, more than a little rude, if you ask me. Clearly something disturbing on his mind. Enough. There's something not quite right in Little Hope. No kidding. And souls <laughs> may be in peril. Off you go again. See if you can lift the fog. Find the bus driver. Yeah, I'm trying to. Oh, we're coming into town now, anyways. The guy looks familiar? Well, he's in the first Man of Medan game. He's the, like, curator. He tells the stories. She sounded so strange. I could barely understand her. She sure sounded like she wasn't from anywhere around here. I'm tempted to say she sounded more like she was from another time than another place. You're right. Find help in town, stay close to the others. I'm Angela now. Let's investigate this shitty house. Oh, there's something over here. What we got? Another postcard. Premonition, here we go. Gun to the head of someone we haven't met yet. Okay. Human sacrifice is what that premonition was called. Uh-oh. I don't like that at all. Dumpster. You hear that? What was that? Yeah, what was that? It's gotta be something small, nocturnal. Nothing to worry about. I really hope you're right. Yeah, I don't think so. Nothing to worry about my ass. No! Oh. You see that? Some big ass animal. I hope so. If not, what the fuck? Wow, I get scared by a deer. Might get a better view from up there. Alright. Where were you pointing at? I didn't even see where you were. Where were you? Oh, up here. Okay. Yeah, let's go for the rest stop. Why not? It's on the table. Ghost Towns of the Northeast. Ghost Towns of the Northeast, Little Hope, the town returning to nature. The abiding image of a ghost town in the most popular imagination of an era. What? What? The abi abiding image of a ghost town in the most popular imagination of an arid desert shack surrounded by tumbleweed. Who wrote this? However, ghost towns exist even in the lush northeast of the United States, buried away in forests, forgotten and abandoned in nature. The reasons for towns to become ghosts vary, but inevitably comes back to economics. The town may have boomed from logging, mining, or industry. Then the jobs go and the people with them. The aptly named Little Hope is one such town, a one factory community built around textiles that disappeared when cheap imports overwhelmed the market. After many attempts to save the mill, it closed and a mass exodus ensued. Soon the school and even the church closed, leaving a desolate ruin. Hidden Depths. Little Hope is a deserted town, but the forests that surround it continue to lure extreme sports enthusiasts. The caverns of Hobbs Deep are famous for ice climbing, but its ice falls are known to be very dangerous. Recommending viewing Architects of Unreadable. Unreadable, 10.30, 9.30 p.m. Central. In this week's episode, Kate Wilder rips the mask off the Zodiac Killer, 
but will her hard-hitting investigative style unearth any new facts about the notorious killer? Worth watching for the stunning views of San Francisco taken from the Golden Gate Bridge. Interesting. Okay. There was no date on that flyer. Newspaper article. How are you coping? I don't know. What do you think happened to us back there? Uh, I'm bewildered. It makes no sense. I have absolutely no explanation for it. it makes zero sense to me. What is out there? Uh, reassuring. We will find a way out of here. We have to. I hope you're right. Appreciate you checking in with me. No problem. What's going on? What are we looking at down here? Oh, what the fuck? What the fuck? Yeah, okay, goodbye. Goodbye, zombie. Goodbye. Continue on, everybody. The graphics are quite nice in this one. What's this? Shiny leaf. Oh, there's a poster here. Little Hope Historical Society presents The Witch of Edmonton? A play by W.M. Rowley, Thos Decker, and John Ford. The Witch of Edmonton? Program performed in historical dress at Little Hope Middle School, Saturday, September 17th of April, 7 p.m. Uh, Could this have something to do with what we saw? I guess it could, but it didn't feel like that. I don't know which is worse. Ghostly apparitions or a town full of historical weirdos. I'm very weirded out, though. I kind of want to go for a nighttime hike, though. I like... Wait, what? Should I walk over here? See if I can see her? No, I can't see her. Out of my way. Oops, wrong button. Wanted to walk fast. What do we got over here? A tractor? Yeah, the old John Deere is parked over here. That's nice. Wait, is this the bridge we crossed to get into the town? Or get on the detour? There's something up ahead! Little Hope Middle School, does that say? Which way? Can we move it? Amen to that. Let's go to the school. It's obviously scarier. Look at that. Hey, wait. Stop. I'm just gonna say it. This is exactly what goes down in horror movies. Uh, yeah, no kidding. What the hell do we do now? Yeah, what do we do now? I'll deal with this. Stay right here. Oh, John, you are so stupid. Is his name John? 
Uh, I'll come with you. Hold up, I'll come with you. Yeah, his name's John. Uh, what? Hey, you two! <gasps> this is not good. Confront the girl. Oh yeah, that's that's not bad at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's perfectly fine. Anyone there? Hello? Anyone? I can see the shadow. Get off me! Is it you want from that? Curious, who are you? Who are you? What are you doing here? These are most troubling times. Wait, don't go. Stay away. Wait, that looks like her. What the hell are you? What do you want? Look, that's impossible. A black tongue full of riddles. I will not succumb to a witch's spell. Please, Lord, I beg you. Rid me of these apparitions. Who are you? This can't be happening. Fix your gaze elsewhere. You are no husband of mine. What is going on here? Let's get into town. It's not so far now. And it's our best shot at getting help. You guys okay? I saw my own double. I am very far from okay. I am terrified and confused. I just saw my own double in the fog. What happened in there? This woman came out of nowhere in the fog, dressed like an extra from Salem. She was garbling something in an accent I didn't recognize. And most disturbing of all, she was the spinning image of me. How is that even possible? You're blowing this out of proportion, Angela. I am all done here. Seems the fog won't let us go anywhere except into the center of town. The fog decides where we can and can't go? Fuck that! I'm trying another way. Don't you kids watch horror movies? You never ever split up. Those movies are dumb. And I'm going this way without you. Maybe splitting up isn't such a good idea, Taylor. No way am I going down there. I'm with John. Uh, I'm with Taylor. I'm with Taylor. Seriously? You want to go with her? For me, this is a bad idea. Very bad. I'll team up with Taylor. It's not safe for you to be hanging around here on your own. Two teams are more likely to find a way out, which is what we all want, right? I guess Two teams? Right. Uh, we're if splitting the up. If you through and you find help, send them into town to find us. Uh-oh. Just you and me, kid. <laughs>